Hey, what's up everybody? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a gradient fill to editable text, which is not nearly as easy as you might think. So here we are in Illustrator. I have a new document open. Now there's a reason why this isn't as easy as it seems. Uh, normally when you have an object like just a simple rectangle, you go up to Window, down to Gradient, and all you have to do is click on the gradient slider and it adds a gradient and then you can make adjustments. Well, with text, with editable text in particular, we'll grab the type tool, shortcut key T, type something on our canvas. How about the word gradient? Hope I spelled it right. Gonna scale that up. Boom. Okay, with text, one would think I could just click the gradient slider. Well, it doesn't work like that, even though the fill now says it's a gradient. Why? I don't know. You might have given up at this point, but just wait, because I have the solution. So how do we add a gradient? to editable text. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this into two pieces. You don't need to do this. The reason I'm doing this is to show you something that's another little glitch in Illustrator. With this second piece, I'm going to go to the fill and knock it out. No fill. There's nothing. It's literally invisible editable text, okay? So we're going to have it selected. I'm going to go up to Window, down to Appearance, and that panel is going to pop out somewhere. Now notice we have no fill and we have no fill here in the appearance. So down here is a little option to add a new fill. We're going to add a new fill. Now there's a black fill on this gradient, but it's a fill that we can see in our appearance panel. With this fill selected, go back to your gradient panel and now click on the gradient slider. We have a nice smooth gradient from left to right on our text and this text is still editable, right? So we're going to go back to that gradient word because I want to demonstrate something and that gradient spans across the left and the right of the text and you can add different options here. I'll show you those in a second, but the reason that I had you make it invisible is because with this one, if we did the same thing, that fill is black, we go to appearance, notice how there's no fill here, but the fill here is black. If I add a fill here, which is black, seems easy enough, and go to that gradient and add that gradient, Look at what happens. That original baseline fill is still underneath this gradient, which gives us a little outline, like a little halo, kind of a yucky little pixelated outline, whereas this one is nice and smooth. So follow these directions. Get rid of the fill so that you have invisible text. Go to the appearance panel, add a new fill, and then with that fill selected, select the gradient slider. Once we've done that, we'll get rid of this disgusting guy. Once we've done that, we can adjust our gradient in any way. So you can click on one of the colors here. You can adjust the opacity of the color. Oops, you can actually double click on that color and change the color. So if I wanted it to red to black, you can click in this space where these color tabs are to add new colors. So I could do a yellow in the middle of that. So it's going from red to yellow to black. We can adjust where those colors appear in our gradient. We can adjust where the middle of those two colors are, like how quickly it goes from red into the yellow and then into the black, okay? One other thing, we can adjust the angle, right? So we could select any other angle, like 180 to flip that whole gradient, or we could go 90 to make that gradient from top to bottom. We can adjust whether it's linear or radial. A radial gradient, will start from the center out, or if you turn the angle of it, you're gonna be able to go the other way, or just flip your colors if you wanted like black in the center and red on the outside. You could just flip the colors and that changes where they're at in position. Think of this as a circle that's sort of scaling out from the center. We can adjust how uh, skewed that circle is and other things. So this is how you add a gradient to editable text because this text is still editable and that gradient flows with it as you type. I hope that helped you guys. Um, it's a really weird process but I figured out how to do it and you can add gradients to editable text in Adobe Illustrator. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials and I'll see you guys next time. Oh and by the way, thanks for watching.